Okay, hey guys, welcome to episode three of Ask Us, my Facebook live thing that I do at night right now, um, where I answer your questions about guitar, music, teaching guitar, music business, that kind of stuff, all these kind of things. So let me just share this post real quick. Um, just a sec. So if you guys are, let me share this. Yeah, I just got a, what am I getting, got a message. Turn it off. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this now, please type uh, where you're from. Type which country you're from or which state you're from. Just curious about where everyone is from. And yeah, let's hang out. So, welcome to Ask Us episode three, uh, where I answer your questions. Kalau sesiapa ada soalan, if you have any questions about music or guitar, uh, if you're watching this, please type where you're from. I'm curious, always curious where everyone's watching from, whether you're from. Kinabalu or Kuching or you know Kuala Lumpur, Shah Alam, Klang, Johor Bahru. Please type where you're from so I know where you guys are from. Yeah, so what's this thing, this show all about? It's just me answering you guys, answering questions from you guys. So if you have any questions about guitar and music and playing music, getting into the music scene, that kind of stuff, boleh tanya. Daripada Ampang, apa khabar Encik? Apa khabar Muhammad Rizwan? Thanks for tuning in man. Thanks for tuning in, I appreciate that. So kalau sesiapa yang, kalau you dari mana? Kalau you tengah tengok ni daripada Ampang, tolong type daripada Ampang. Kalau you daripada KL, type daripada KL. Kalau you start dekat traffic jam atau you tengah tengok dalam bus atau grab car, Clang, okay, cool. Okay, not not Juan, not Juan. I I'm not sure. Uh, I want an ovation applause, okay, with the Dario strings, which are hell on my fingers. What are your suggestions for delicate fingers brand specs? Is it um, is it a nylon string guitar or a steel string guitar? Because a lot of times, right, it's not about the Kota Kinabalu, man. I, I've been getting a lot of people from KK watching this, uh, the Facebook Live, so I appreciate it. Thanks, Hafiz. Uh, okay, my advice is this. It might be the strings, or it might be the setup, or it might be how you play. And it's very hard for me to tell. Uh, if you, can, are you near your guitar? Can you take a quick photo of it? Like, if, if you're very near your guitar, if you can just take a photo of um, like the string action, and maybe just a wide shot of the guitar. If you you have, if you can take a photo of it, I can have a look at it. Taman Melati, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, kalau you boleh ambil gambar. If you can take a photo of it, I can have a look. At, uh, like, kind of have a look. In terms of strings, right? Nylon string. I use the Dario. I actually use hard tension nylon strings. Um, for steel strings, I I've been use I used the Dario before. Um, I use eleven fifty twos or twelve fifty threes, depending on the guitar. Um, on electric, I use 942s. So every guitar I use, 
will have a different string set that's optimum for it. So it's not about, it depends on the guitar and it depends on how you restring. So, because the other problem is sometimes people restring their guitar. It could be how you're restringing it, or it could be the tension, or it could be the, the height, it could be the setup as well. So it's not one thing. Steel, 10. Uh, okay, when's the last time you got it set up? It might be a setup. Tens are not that that hard to play actually. For acoustic tens are good. I use twelves, elevens or twelves. I typically use twelves. So you're using ten, and if it's hard to press. It's probably the setup of your guitar, very likely. It's not. It's probably not e either. Do you play more electric, or you just play? Is that your main guitar? Like, do you just play on acoustic guitar? If it's your main guitar and you're having problems, there's so many things. It, sometimes people think it's the just the, the set, just the strings. It's not necessarily that. It could be the setup. It could be the strings. It could be how you play. It could be your bad. It could be bad technique. It could be a bad setup. It could be your posture. It's not just the instrument. The instrument is just one part of it. Oh, okay. If the action is quite low, right? It might be how you're playing. Or it might be how your fingers. Um, if if the action is quite low, it might just be how you're playing the guitar. It might be a technique thing. Because I know a lot of people, uh, they might have some kind of issue with posture or playing or how the body, the guitar fits their body. Not everyone is meant for every guitar, you know. Like this guitar, it took me a while to get used to it, but it's like my favorite guitar ever. Uh, but not everyone can play this guitar and find and, and kind of get the sound. Because uh, you, need to, you need to get used to the right guitar. You know, you need to find the right guitar for you. Ikmal Alif, ada soalan. Penting ke wajib seorang baca sheet music or just play by heart? Or oh, that's the main one, you own an evidence is collecting dust. In that case, right, I cannot tell unless I see you play. Do you have any videos of you playing? If you have a video, I mean, you, you can post the link here and I can check it out real quick and see how you're playing. Whether Then I can determine whether it's a guitar issue, is it a gear issue, or is it a technique issue. Uh, if you have a video link, you can post it here and share it. Or you can you can also DM me. But, um, I, I cannot guarantee when I'm going to look at it if you direct message me. Because I'm, I'm, yeah, it depends on my time. Uh, Ikmal, penting ke wajib baca music sheet atau just play by heart. Uh, Ikmal, you nak buat apa? Apa tujuan you? Kalau you nak baca sheet music ni kan, sight reading or reading is good for finding work or learning new music. Penting atau wajib? For me, penting. Sebab I cannot get a lot of the gigs I get. Kalau I tak boleh baca, I wouldn't got I tak dapat gig tu. Kalau you nak main dengan, for example, orchestra, Malaysian Philharmonic Orchestra, tak boleh baca note, tak dapat gig tu. Uh, kalau you nak main session gig where you playing for a band where dia orang ada chart, 20 chart, kalau you tak boleh baca, you tak dapat gig tu. So, tapi kalau you just main for yourself, you don't need to read. Tak payah baca pun, it doesn't matter. Uh, in fact, most of my students, I recommend belajar lagu completely by ear. Artinya, pasang recording kan. Let's say pasang lagu Lady Gaga yang apa, Shallow from the new movie tu kan, A Star Is Born. Pasang lagu tu terus figure out by ear apa benda tu, apa chord dia semua. That's, bukan tak tak Google cari tab tau, just like straight dengar cari how to play. That's what I really recommend lah to be honest. Tapi uh, for a lot of work, you have to read. Kalau classical guitar, kena baca. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron's back. Yeah, it's, yeah, so it's like baca buku. Macam, uh, soalan dia kan, it's like like what Aaron said. Contohnya, kalau you tengok buku kat belakang ni, penting ke baca buku? Kalau you nak baca buku, penting lah. Kalau you tak nak baca buku, pergi tengok YouTube video, tak kisah lah. It, it so depends dengan your purpose. Apa tujuan you? You, you, kena, you, kena, you have to tahu lah. Ah, can, can, can. Can, man. Uh, if everything goes well, right, I'm trying lah. I'm trying to do one every night, like about this time, like 11.30 at night. I'm trying my best to do that. Um, so, 
so yeah if you can share the video you can share the video earlier you can you can dm me uh, then at least master the thing or you can just share the link bila bila tu lah bila the next live also kan rahimi hussein lembutkan jari atau coding yang penting i tak berapa faham this idea of lembutkan jari actually um technique is is dependent on technique to improve your technique is actually accuracy accuracy and relaxation kalau kalau you tak pandai uh, kalau you main dengan tension kan you akan sakit your jari you, you will hurt yourself if you play with a lot of tension so uh, to me everything is important harp harmonic and guitar Safi is a really important question okay harp harmonic is so like this Normal harmonic on guitar, right? Let's say on the 12th fret here, right? I put my finger here and then I pick on 12th fret, right? I get harmonics. Touching and just touching the neck. 7 and 5. Now, when you do harmonics, uh, you have to touch before that, this is natural harmonic. Then you have to touch about the second one. The second thing is actually artificial harmonics before we go to harp harmonics. Artificial harmonics is if I play, let's say if I put my finger here and bar, I have to use one finger here to touch 12 frets above. So in, this is on the second fret, right? So I have to go on the 12 plus 2, 14 fret. I have to touch the finger, the, the fret here and then use this finger, another finger here to play the note, either this or the thumb. So if I use this, So I'm actually fretting here on the second fret, on the 14th fret here. I'm using one finger to press, to touch, one finger to pluck. Okay. This is called artificial harmonics. I can use my thumb also, but I don't have thumbnail right now, so it's not going to sound so good. Now, a harp harmonics, right, is a Lenny Bro kind of thing where you play a normal note and then you play a harmonic. So if I play this note on the 4th string, then I play the 6th string, harmonic. Normal note on the 3rd string, harmonic on the 5th string. Normal note on 2nd string, harmonic on 4th string. Normal note on 1st string, harmonic on 3rd string. So when you do that, it's going to sound like a harp. Now if I use a thumb pick, which I don't really use a thumb pick, but I happen to found a thumb pick just now, then I can also use it on a thumb, which kind of works, I guess. It is easier a bit to get the notes, so I can do stuff like... So that's going to be clearer with a thumb pick, so I'm using a thumb pick. I, I, I don't really use a thumb pick normally, but I just took it out. So normal note, harmonic, normal note, artificial harmonic, normal note, artificial harmonic, normal note, artificial harmonic. I can, if I move it up here to the third fret, you can get the same thing. Second fret. First fret. Sorry. And that's, a, that's harp harmonics. Bro Asamat, cuba kau produce sight reading book for beginner intermediate. Mau beli for personal use. I'm working on a book actually. I've been working on a book for a while now. Uh, but I haven't finished it. I, it's, I'm actually, it's actually delayed on my schedule. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get it done within this year. Uh, maybe within Q2 or Q3, within the second quarter or the third quarter of the year. Um, I'm working on it lah. I'm I'm working I'm working on it, I'm working on a project I'm working on a composition project right now so that's kind of the main thing, uh, but um, yeah it's something that I I'm in the middle of so thanks for that uh, suggestion it's in the works lah so I'll I'll inform when it's out. Your favorite guitarist players is um, my favorite one right now is Julian Lutch Julian Lutch and Charlie Hunter are my favorite guitar players. Um, I also like a lot, 
I've been listening to a lot of Sid Jacobs nowadays. Sid Jacobs, he's a jazz guy. He, he used to teach at a Musicians Institute in Los Angeles. Uh, he's really, really good. Uh, who else do I check out? Julian Latch. I mean, to be really honest, Julian Latch. I checked. I checked out some Nick Johnston as well because he came for the workshop he, in KL, and he's really amazing. I want to check out some of his transcriptions as well that he's done for his um, his works. He's really good. Matthias Asado, huge Matthias Asado fan. He's really amazing. Um, long fingernail harmonies. I thought you can just play after potong kuku. Tak, kalau play uh, kind of need either a pick, either a pick or pakai nail. Sebab bunyi dia tak kuat kalau tak ada tak ada tu. So if you see me, kalau I main the same thing kan, with just a thumb flash, right? You listen to the volume tau. Now, dengar, if I use a pick, right, at least for the thumb, right, you're gonna hear it here. It's just a better sound. Uh, Japanese scale. I actually don't know the Japanese scale. I can Google it and play it for you. Japanese scale. I don't really play any ja Japanese stuff. Um, let's pick one Japanese mode. A, B, C, E, F, A. So that's one of the scales you can play. Uh, it's A B C D E F. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, A B C E F A. So there, it's one of the Japanese scales. Uh, other tips to learn Ashuka pickers, tips to learn arpeggios, sweep arpeggios. Um, sure. Uh, for sweep, what I would do is this. I, I would take, uh, this is from, uh, who's the guy? Um, it's a, okay, there's a bunch of people who do this, but the, the tip is I would do with shorter arpeggios first. For example, I would do maybe like A minor, two note, two string ones. So that's one exercise I would recommend. A, C, E, A minor, right? Down, down, sweep, up. So just try that one first, but the, the trick is, the trick about the sweep stuff is to actually play it in time. It's not to really to play it really fast, but to play it really in time. So, so I might start with. And G. F. So that's one exercise you can do. So, how do I get it? A minor. Then what you can do is you can do a longer A minor. So, E, A, C, E. So down, down. G, it was just D, G, E. Let me see, make sure you can see the. I want to make sure you can see both hands. Okay. So you can do. F, C, F, A, C. So that would be a three string uh, sweep la. One, two, three, four. Then you can do a four string one, which is uh, if I did C, sorry, um, C, E, A, C. So 
that's another one. So that's four strings already, right? So C E. five strings so you can do it from A C E A C E 12 fret huh, here so. and G That's one of the things you can do lah. So I think like the tip is start off dengan two two string uh, sweeps, three string sweeps, four string sweeps, five string sweeps. It's just uh, to kind of build up the technique. Frigian dominant scale, bro. Uh, not Juan. Show me tips to play acoustic blues, macam Robert Johnson, bro. Solo guitar, tapi sound like two three guitarists. I'm I'm not really good at that. So. Um, I'm not really good. Sunny Tan in the house. I'm not really good at that, but I can show you some basic stuff. Lah. The, the acoustic blues stuff, right, is dependent on monotonic bass. Monotonic bass, right, means you have to be able, this is the first thing you need to do. You need to be able to play the bass, uh, like the bass, right, just non stop, like. So maybe I can just use the thumb. So this is the first step, you know, one, two, three, four. So you have to get used to playing the bass, just like one, one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. Step one. Then maybe you can play with, let's say E seven, right? So play the chord. Maybe I strum up like that with the bass. A seven. Very basic, lah. So the bass has to go on. So this is the very basic. Then the next step you can do is maybe do one and two. So you see what I mean? One and two. So this is very, very basic. So I'm, I'm just showing you the very, very basic stuff. But this is really good exercise to get coordination. So I'm just using two fingers, huh? thumb and index. That's the second step. So you have the bass, bass, the thumb is just going one, two, three, four, and then the, this one's playing the chords. The thing that will make it sound more like uh, two or three people is when you start playing licks on it. So for example, you could do stuff like, uh, let's see, uh, let me think. Uh, so I'm doing the G. Thumbs still going, you know, thumbs still. So then the other, so 
at that point, right, you're already comfortable keeping the thumb going and keeping the chords, playing the chords every once in a while and then playing a melody. That's the very, very, very basic tips. Uh, most people will fail at doing this because they cannot keep time. So they think they can do it, but actually they play very, very messy or the groove that's up. So uh, you need to try to, what I would do is spend maybe like an hour or three hours, two, three, four, one, just doing this. Again, when you're comfortable with that, maybe after a few hours, right? I mean, not one sitting, lah, maybe several sittings, then the second time you, sorry. There's a lot more exercises, but that's the basic. Noted. Thanks for the tips. Welcome, Ashuka. Ashu Ashuza Pickers. Welcome. Okay, guys. So, we covered a lot of stuff. We did some harp harmonics. Guitar setup, harp harmonics. Guitar setup, harp harmonics, RP, sweet picking. I'm just writing this down because I want to change the description later. Guitar setup. Guitar setup. Harp harmonics. Uh, fingerstyle blues. What, did, what else did we cover just now that I showed you guys? Um, sweet picking, sweet picking basics. Wow, a lot of topics. Okay, so what's the next question? Anyone else got any questions? Um,
to work on that stuff. Fridge and dominant scale. Um, what about it, Aaron? Fridge and dominant is E7. Uh, harmonic minus two. Yeah, not one. Uh, you need a second brain to maintain the thumb tempo. You need a metronome and recording actually, not really a second brain. You just it takes a long time lah to get that. It's practice. I mean, even you saw just now, like. I'm trying to do the Phrygian uh, dominant and the thing. Arab songs use that scale. Um, actually, most Middle Eastern songs they use. Uh, if it's Egyptian, they use makam, and it's a more complicated system than that. So I, I haven't transcribed that much Middle Eastern songs or Arabic songs. It's a very simplified look at it. So it's very oversimplified to say they use that scale, but it gets that vibe for sure. Kalau boleh cakap Melayu, tak kerti orang putih. Tanya soalan dalam BM, uh, Kad Kadir. Kalau you tanya soalan BM, I jawab dalam BM. Apa brand gitar you're using? I'm using a Takamini. Saya pakai gitar Takamini. Steve Paul tanya, bro, explain sikit pasal play Semogi. I always like, this is a Takamini bro. Takamini, EN60C. Don't know how to make it. Uh, so. Takamini EN60C. Kalau man, I wish I had a Samoyi. I was very close to trying one. Tak, Irwin Samoyi, tak bagi, I try. I jumpa dia dekat uh, in California. Uh, play outside. Okay, playing outside is actually, you play the wrong things. That's all it is. But to make it sound good, playing outside and playing it outside and making it sound good is different. So let's say I have E minor, A minor, right? Let's say A minor. If I want to play outside, I just play something else that doesn't fit it. For example, I could play E7. Right. But it's not so outside right now. I really want outside. I play F7. Or F sharp 7. Or the most outside one is when it's A minor, I play B flat minor. So you get the sound like. See what I mean? That's really at the basic of it. The 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 thing about nak buat nak buat play outside ni sedap is actually play inside, but to keluar outside sekejap, but to masuk inside. For example, kalau A minor. See what I mean? It's like go by.
so it sounds nice because I, I'm in A minor, which is inside. Then I go to B flat minor, which is outside, and then I come back to A minor. That's the basic of outside playing. It can go really deep. You can replace all sorts of stuff that doesn't make any sense, um, and it will create a more outside sound, lah. So Kade, kalau ada soalan kan, you, you nak tahu, uh, tanya, tanya apa yang you nak faham. Dia minta tanya playing outside, maksudnya main bunyi yang lebih um, modern, bunyi lebih jazz. Tapi secara asasnya, kita just main benda yang tak fit the chord, tapi logical. Dia bunyi dia sedap. Let's say kalau A minor, kita main benda yang sedap dalam A minor, tapi kita main dalam B flat minor, key lain. Jadi bunyi dia lebih outside lah bunyi dia. Interesting or jazz. So yeah, any other questions? Uh, Alright bang, cool Kadir. Kadir ada apa-apa soalan apa-apa? Anything yang saya boleh cuba jawab or explain? Kalau ada boleh, boleh, boleh tanya. No, I'm like quite into the whole. So ada, ada orang tanya pasal that. if I can use a thumb pick. I'm not, I don't really use a thumb pick but I think it will sound better for this stuff. But tapi posture lain. Uh, one zig. I've been browsing your website. Did I miss seeing any songwriting classes or it's not there in the first place? Uh, I do have a um, songwriting classes. Uh, I do have one class, one course I think that um, was it's more like songwriting guitar. I teach uh, songwriting um, but it's not um, let me see if I can find it. Basically the songwriting stuff right is uh, you tell me, we, we can take lessons for as, as long as you want. So let's say you want to take lessons for three months, right? You want to, you tell me what you, style you want to write and I will uh, kind of guide you in that direction. So if you want to sound like, you want to write stuff that's very poppy, we'll study pop songs that you like. Uh, if you want to write rock songs or, I mean, it depends on the style. If you want to write dangdut, I'm not an expert in that. But if you want to write jazzy or pop songs or rock songs or like folk songs, right? Uh, basically, uh, we, we discuss what songs, what kind of songs you want to write and then uh, we'll go in, I will personalize the course for you uh, to show, to guide you the techniques that you need to get in that style. Uh, for songwriting in terms of, um, for songwriting in terms 
of as a guitarist, right, singer, songwriter, guitar styles, there is a specific chorus. But let me see whether the info is actually up to date. The info is actually out of date. Yeah, the info is a bit out of date, but uh, let me give you the thing. Um, So, one Zeek. This, this is the I'm typing it out for you. A description for the singer, songwriter, guitar chorus. So I, I, I put out the I, I, I pasted the singer songwriter guitar chorus. Um, that's more of playing guitar, the guitar playing style. But if you want to study like um, but if you want to study like actual songwriting, like I said, it's it's very basically very personalized. You tell me what you want to sound like, and we in the classes we will study those writers that you like. So if you like John Mayer, we'll check out John Mayer. If you like, uh, for example, like Johnny Mitchell, we'll check out Johnny Mitchell. If you like uh, like certain bands like Rolling Stones or the Beatles, we'll analyze those, the kind of songs that you want to write like, the kind of sounds you're interested in. The past two, kita, you use that as a basis for writing your own stuff. Uh, Steve Paul's. Main dengan saya nak bayangkan saya tapi saya fikir sebab macam out. You can transcribe Steve Paul, right? Kalau you nak main out, you can transcribe orang yang main outside. So you can cari artis yang main outside, learn by ear apa dia main, and be able to play it. Itu aja. Dia, I mean, at the very basic, kan? You can copy orang yang tahu main stuff macam tu. Let's see what the comments you have. Main gitar boleh turunkan blood pressure tak? Uh, I'm not a medical doctor, so I tak licik lah, bro. I wish if I was a doctor, boleh cakap. Payung senja men baru menangis. Sure, man. Acoustic blues tadi, bro. Demo tips untuk drill practice open E major for licks. I tak pakai. Um, actually, I pakai E minor pentatonic tau for that one. Like the this one, right? E seven. Can I actually use? The, the drill again, the demo tips would be like So that's an exercise you can try lah It's just um, so Tiga, kosong Tiga, kosong Dua, kosong Dua, kosong Dua, kosong Tiga, bend Open Okay. Hello, what triplet? I will say you That's the skill I do. Senja, senja. I think it's uh, my. It's, if it, you mean my song, right? It's senja mula menangis. So good job. Let me see if I can play it for you. I haven't played it in a long time. <laughs> Tuning lari skill. Good job.
and I haven't played that in ages. That's one of my songs, Senja Mulu Menangis. Goes out to Kairi Ajmain. Yeah, not one, E minor pentatonic. Color blues, my major or minor pentatonic, boleh. Jazz, my of chord melody, boleh juga. Okay. So, I boleh set bila nak belajar what time, what day, berapa kali seminggu. Because my off day is kind of random, depends on roster. Uh, we can do via Skype. If you're, if you're in KL, we can do it here at my place. Uh, my place is in Bangsa. Tapi kalau you outside OKL, we can do via Skype. Uh, I teach from Wednesday, daripada hari Rabu sampai hari Ahad. Wednesday to Sunday are my teaching days. Uh, we have to set a set time because I have students at different times. You can take as many times as you want in a week. Uh, but in Malaysia, so just so you know, my hourly rate is 265. 265 for an hour, Malaysian rate. 265 ringgit an hour. So, but there is also like uh, different, if you take, if you pay for every, you pay four hours in advance, eight hours or 12 hours, then it's um, discounted lah for four, pay by block, four hours, eight hours or 12 hours. So, if you want to take uh, four hours a week, also can. It's just that it's going to cost more lah, per, it's per hour. Uh, it can be very straight. Let me, let me pass you the rate, kerja. Just a sec. So one Zeke. Let me let me just send you a DM. Let me see if I can find a page. I want to seek. Uh, here's the info. Okay, one seek. I, I I just send the. I just send the info. Uh, it's the. The, the one I send you is actually the Malaysian rate. So if you have a Malaysian bank account, that's the rate. If you're sending from Australia, right, uh, then if you have a Malaysian bank account, then you can pay the Malaysian rate. If you're sending from Australia, there is a different uh, international rate. But I'm assuming if you're Malaysian, then if you have access to a Malaysian bank account, you can pay the Malaysian rate. But you can, uh, we can discuss through, um, we can discuss via, via the messaging. I just send you a DM. Easily brains to use. Walaikum salam. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm probably gonna uh, continue this for like maybe another nine minutes or something, just up to an hour. Uh, but yeah, so if anyone has any other questions, you can keep asking.
I'm just practicing different things. So, kalau salah, if it doesn't sound so good, it's because it's, I'm just I'm working on some different things that I, I don't normally play. Kalau E, tabu macam ni. since for E7. Um, Muhammad Rezwan, Bang, berapa jenis genre music abang boleh main dan apa genre music kegemaran abang? Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Saya actually, you know to be honest, I actually, I really, 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 really like uh, jazz blues. <laughs> It's like kind of an obsession of mine. I, and um, I played a lot of different styles. Macam, when I started out, kan, I actually used to play like more like classical. Lah. <laughs> kind of like or so bad um. so like classical guitar i played classical guitar for many years uh tapi before i start playing classical guitar i was playing like really bad uh, nirvana covers so but start off and main like That's how I started playing guitar and that. And what else? Um, and I was like, I was there to play a uh, when I started out. I was, trying to learn stuff like this. surf tune um and then what so i played like i played like rock some rock stuff some pop stuff so r&b like you know so i like r&b guitar as well um so i play some r&b i play some rock i say some pop some classical guitar, some bossa nova, some jazz. And it's just over a long time tau. Dia kira macam, so I, I start main guitar tahun 96. So it's been berapa? 23 tahun. So within 23 years, banyak lah main. It's, and that's mestinya semua pun bagus. It's just that dah banyak main lah. And dekat US main Tex-Mex, main indie rock, main jazz. Uh, banyak Brazilian jazz gigs juga. Swing, gypsy jazz. 
um, orchestra, classical, that kind of stuff. So, but my favorite is really is just jazz blues or the jazz is my favorite. And fingerstyle is also quite my favorite thing, la, like all this kind of. I, I like playing fingerstyle for many, many years. Uh, tapi sekarang tengah fokus on jazz lah. Isli brains use. Ni soalan di luar kotak sikit. Macam mana nak masukkan elemen jazz dalam permainan muzik gamelan? Apa pendapat? Uh, masih mencuba. Um, how do I say this? You kena dengar jazz then you kena transcribe lagu jazz. You kena nak masukkan elemen jazz kan? A lot of people nak masukkan elemen jazz dia macam Dia rasa kalau masuk jazz dia akan bunyi lebih sedap. Kadang-kadang tak sedap sangat tau. But kalau you nak, there's a really good album that I recommend. It's called, um, I don't know whether you can find it. Tapi Rhythm in Bronze, which is a gamelan group. Kan? Diorang ada release one album last time. Um, what is it called? Let me see if I can find the title. Rhythm in Bronze CD. It's called... Rhythm and Bronze, uh, Malaysia, Up CD. I think it's just, it, the CD was just called Rhythm and Bronze. So yeah, so I think you can uh, just, you have to listen to a lot of jazz and you check out the Rhythm and Bronze CD if you can find it. Um, actually just belajar lagu jazz. The problem with the gamelan thing, and not the problem, like the challenge is that Malaysian gamelan uh, is like pentatonic, right? It's like five notes. So you can, uh, you can put some harmony in, like if you had a bass player mind and assuming the gamelan set is in tune, right, you can probably uh, change the harmony and add uh, chromatic notes in the bass line, in the bass part. That will make it can be jazzy lah. So that's what I would do. Fauzi Awaludin. Saya ada band tapi tak ada platform nak masuk gig. Ada apa percara? Uh, senang. Pergi gig. You have to go to gigs. Berapa gig you pergi tak tak minggu? Ada pergi gig tak? Number satu, you ada pergi gig tak? Number dua, berapa lagu you ada? You ada, kalau I cakap, katakan I cakap esok I ada gig untuk you. Enam lagu, ada tak? Uh, Universal. Nanti saya cari. Yeah, try to find the CD. It's going to be good. So, Fauzi, you punya band style apa? Cari gig actually, it's not that hard. Kalau you, your, if your band is good, you can cari gig. The, 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 Problem is actually not about cari gig. You, kalau you nak cari gig berbayar, especially when you tak you tak dikenali orang, that is the tricky bit. Kalau you nak cari gig aja, it's not a problem. Yeah, just yeah, easily. That's what I would do if I was because I was I was very close to writing some gamelan stuff, tapi tak jadi when project tu tak jadi. Um, but yeah, just pakai bass, bass player. Atau pakai keyboard player. Tapi I think lebih sedap you just pakai bass. Then tak banyak sangat. You can keep most of the gamelan stuff inside. Tak terfikir. Kenapa you tak terfikir? Because I my, I've thought about this thing lama tau. I done my music lama. So that's why. But you try lah. You try and implement. See how it is. Sama-sama. Bila you dah siap the piece, uh, send me a recording of it or something. I love to dengar what you come up with. Um, Fauzi, so apa style, apa style lagu you main? And apa band you? Ah, oh, Amir Fashan, my man. Sup man, how well can you play by ear or improv on the spot? How well can I play by ear? Um, okay lah, but you know, I'm not like, I, I know people who are way better than me. Uh, but I can improvise on the spot. I mean, we, let's, let's play a game. Why don't you give me a topic or like a mood or a, a song title? I'll improvise a song right now. This goes out to Amir. I used to do that for gigs. I would ask people to give me a song title or something or like a mood. And I 
I'll make up a song on the spot. Ole, cool. Yeah, I'm probably going to end after that, but... Fauzi, are you still there? Sebab I tanya, I tanya soalan, what upper style band you and... Sebab uh, you cakap tak ada platform nak masuk gig. If you ada Facebook page, letak your Facebook page right here. Just post it in the comments, Fauzi. And then kalau siapa-siapa yang watching, dengar wanna cari band untuk 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 organize or jemput gig, boleh check out the link. Bro, are you perfect pitch or relative pitch? Uh, relative pitch. I don't have perfect pitch. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, I don't know whether it's strong relative pitch, but oh, I'm I, my my hearing has my hearing has gotten better over the years. Welcome, welcome, easily. Hopefully it helps out. So, uh, something simple in the end. Oh, you, are you asking me to come up with an arrangement uh, by ear? I can listen to that and try to figure out something. Okay, I haven't heard the song in ages, nor have I ever tried it. So, I'm just putting on a YouTube video and we'll see whether I can learn it. Obviously, I can't. I can't like. Uh, I can't play the rap part. So da, 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 da. and it doesn't go there. It just stays on E flat minor for some time. I can improvise on top of the arrangement. Yeah, I mean, learning stuff like that by ear, um, I mean, I, it would take some time for me to... change the key to like E minor and then that might be easier to play. Obviously the rap part is like not really pitch, so a bit hard to kind of copy that. Any advice into cari sound? Uh, sound guitar? Or sound like, like band sound? 
Kalau sang gitar is a matter of kena cari lagu-lagu yang you suka dan band yang you suka. Lepas tu you copy sound dia orang dulu and then change based on apa yang you suka yang slightly different daripada what other people are doing. I mean in terms of my my sound right that I like. I mean I like nylon string guitar and okay I'll, I'll show you what I don't like but let's say if I was playing this right like that's a nice sound kalau pakai pick pun I like that sound more than for example kalau trebly or kalau macam too muddy I don't like that so I like the definition around here most of the time So that that's the kind of sound I like on my nylon string. Sound to band. Okay, sound to band kan. Uh, there is live sound. Uh, there is a live sound and also recorded sound. Kalau live sound, you you really have to practice and record your new rehearsal. Record rehearsal and record the gig. And try to figure out some other, semua instrument you mind to sedap tak the arrangement. So, but it's dependent on like the the musicianship for each of the people in the band and also dependent on macam mana blend so i would say rehearse every week or as much as possible rehearse every week macam 2 hours to 3 hours at least and then try to gig every week if you can kalau tak ada gig lagi uh, just record your rehearsal put up a YouTube video but put up a video every week and put up like Instagram videos and stuff like that. That's how you learn. You ha you have to record yourself and dengar balik the sound. Kalau you tak record, you tak tahu how you sound like. So you won't find your sound if you tak record yourself. It's very hard to gauge benda tu sedap tak unless you record yourself. So that's the tip. Okay guys, I'm going to answer maybe one more question here. One last one and uh, I'm going to call it a night. So but it's kind of late actually. I probably stand up practicing but just to go off uh, Facebook live. Again, okay, a few things I want to say uh, just before we end. Uh, kalau sesiapa yang main gitar, if you guys play guitar and you are looking uh, to find a way to get some side income, check out my new course. There's a new course that I just released. It's called uh, How to Start Teaching Guitar Lessons. It's at www.azsamad.com forward slash teach. Link is in the description too asamat.com forward slash teach. So that course is on promo now. It's um, going for it's going for 10 US dollars and it's a course uh, audio lesson, 24 minute audio lesson with worksheet and checklist. And you can check that out and learn how to start teaching, how to get your first paying student so you can get some side income. So I really recommend that. I, I I'm, I'm proud of the work I did in there and it, I know that the concepts have helped some of my other students, private students mostly in the past. So you can check it out. Susanna Khan, how do you translate piano pieces? Sama Sama Fauzi. How do you translate piano pieces to guitar? There, um, like Susanna Khan, right, there, there's some arrangements that are already available. So I think I learned one of the arrangements. Um, okay, let me try to find Susanna Khan, like, uh, I have the book somewhere, but let me try to find a arrangement if I can find.
something like that. Um, I'm just reading an arrangement uh, online that, I, that you can find. So a lot of times, right, it's just a matter of finding the melody. That one I'm just reading, but if I wanted to uh, translate any kind of piece uh, from any other instrument, you learn the melody. So let's say that, that song, the... So that's the melody right then. So let's say that part. So I know it's E minor. So I need to figure out a way to play that together, you know. Um, So I, I'm basically learning the melody, learning the chords, figuring out a way to play together. Um, okay, Shah, Shah, Shahir. Boleh beri tips untuk chord dalam tu? Jari telunjuk tu macam mana nak tekan semua bunyi clean? I always fail to do that. Easily. Anyway, Shigo, thanks for the idea. Um, nanti jumpa lagi. Welcome. Sama-sama. So if you guys watching this, if you find this, uh, kalau you rasa video ni helpful, tolong tag kawan-kawan you yang mungkin benefit daripada video ni. Kalau you belum like my page, tolong like my page. Kalau ada yang nak mengajar gitar, nak belajar macam mana nak mengajar gitar, dapatkan student, check out my course. Get my course is a really good course. It's on promo now. It's only like 40 ringgit. Uh, it's really a lot of value. You get to learn how the strategy macam mana nak dapat uh, student kalau you mengajar gitar. Um, so yeah, so those are the ways you can support me if you find this video helpful. Tolong share, click share, then click like. Okay, Shahir, um, boleh bagi tips untuk chord dalam. Jali tunjuk tu macam mana nak tekan semua string dengan bunyi clean. Tunjuk, oh this one, for the bar chord lah macam ni kan. So trick dia macam ni, dekat belakang ni kan, thumb dia kena support. Jari ni letak dekat-dekat dengan fret dia. Bukan dekat sini, dekat-dekat dengan fret ni. Lepas tu you tekan. Okay, I don't know where you can see it. Lepas tu rehat. So, you tak boleh buat lama-lama tau. Rehat. Mula-mula uh, akan susah sebab jari tu tak kuat lagi. Actually, sini I ada callus. So, you nampak macam indentation kan. Sebab benda tu dah, dah keras dah lama main. So, uh, it takes some time lah nak practice. Amir, welcome man. Hope, ho hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much. I appreciate I appreciate the love, man. Take care. Uh, kalau nak belajar pasal bar chord, I ada some videos pasal bar chord. Sekejap, cari bar chord. Mana ada? Okay, you, kalau yang Shahir, Check out this video and check out this video. So I just posted one video yang you boleh tengok untuk belajar bar chords. You can check it out to learn some bar chord stuff. And let me give you another one as well. I just give links to two videos for Shahir and you can check those out to belajar buat bar chord better. Hmm. 
Okay, guys, I think I'm going to take off. It's been quite long. I think longer than I expected for this session to be. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, uh, kalau you belum like the page, if you haven't liked my Facebook page, please click like on asfacebook.com forward slash assummitmusic. Uh, kalau you guys on Twitter, follow me on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash assummit, A-Z-S-A-M-A-D, A-Z-S-A-M-A-D. And if you guys want to check out more videos, there's also a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash assummit. Uh, please click share, please click like, please click share on this video. And I'm trying my best to do this um, for now. Uh, trying, I'm trying to do this every night, like about this time, lah, like around 11 or 11.30 like that. I'm trying to do one episode every night. Um, and so we'll see how long this goes. Well, sementara I still have time, I'm trying to do that regularly, lah, this thing. Welcome, bro. Okay, guys, thanks so much. Have a good night. And hopefully, probably see you guys tomorrow, okay? Good night. Bye-bye.